Hey guys, this is North Star again. My name is Thanasis. For the ones who don't know me, I am a tour guide, and we're making this movie the life of a guide. Enjoy watching. We're sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number or try your call again. This is a recording. It was Martin Luther King that once told his disciples in his college speeches the phrase, if you can't fly, then run. And if you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, just keep on going. And we do. We keep on going. And yet, sometimes even crawling. I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you follow me, baby? Can you see what I have? Do you like what you see? Do I follow your path? I don't know if I like you I just know that you're bad You're driving me crazy You can drive in that cab Hop out If you don't like it, you gotta hop out Hi, Thanasis and I am an enduro rider and look, today we ride. And when we say riding, we don't mean just going for a ride in the woods, we mean like pure enduro, deep ruts, steep uphills, downhills, rocky terrain, all the things that we enduro guides consider to be fun. So... <laughs> After a year of doing absolutely nothing came the time we would find ourselves on our bikes, guiding groups into the woods of our area. Feeling amazed about how wonderful this job is, appreciating life, and the people who dared to visit us under these circumstances. Heroes in racing outfits, simple people without them, doing what they love the most. Enduro riding. Action, adventure, laughs and cheers. Two strokes smoke everywhere and happy faces. Apart from that though, have you ever wondered how does it feel to be an enduro guide? Thank <laughs> you.
I like the 200 actually. Everybody loves the 200. So we are here. But I like the After many, many, many days of not riding, again, I'm mentioning it. And the trails are closed because of COVID, not too many people ride in the trails. And you see, like, nature is going to hibernate. And I have forgotten how wonderful this feeling is to ride late September. It's still dry and a little bit dusty. And there are many thorny trees in the middle of nowhere, but still unbelievable. Look at the colors. To be a guide means you have to observe. Most of the times, interfere and discreetly try to help. You must try to avoid and insult your guest and be with him in with his chase for action and adventure. Pull and push, ride his bike, and at the same time, encourage him to move on when he is weak. When he is strong enough, you are the one to guide him away from serious troubles. Would you consider this an easy task? You are hired.
Hello there. It's our job to keep everyone happy. From the most experienced to the novice riders, we must design and choose a route that will make them happy, fulfill their expectations from choosing to ride with us, and keep them safe and smiling. Season started, and we have Mr. Chris Edwards here and his gang, the Angry Alan group. Fatty Francis, what is up with the Fatty Francis? Well, you said no rocks. You said no rocks, so. <laughs>
So today we were fighting with the bushes and the plantation of the Greek fauna and flora, which is the right flora, right? Fauna, thank God we didn't meet any fauna. The horses. The wild horses. Oh, the wild horses, yes. Okay, so, yeah. And uh, I think the fauna won the war. Absolutely. Especially with its sharp, needly thorns. I'm gonna need a bottle of blood when I go back. Riders always want more and more of what you give them. It's in the nature of every enduro enthusiast to push and move forward, explore his limits, and test his abilities. And when he achieves something, <laughs> yep, you guessed right, he wants more. Better motors in our woods, in the hands of strangers that we meet for the first time. Oh my goodness. Everything is so complicated when you accept people from overseas and you're supposed to be with them, guiding them, touching their feelings about writing. And we all know how explosive that can be. When, of course, I see a bike on the ground, things get a little bit more complicated, you know, because sometimes people do it easily, you know, they just whoop the bike down. Some others, there's nothing to do, you know, they just fall off. Uh, I'm the guy who is supposed to be there and help them pick the bike and give them advice. Some people don't accept advices, so in that case we have to do something about it, you know. And this is lowering the level of the whole group. People don't like it, but we don't also like to see the bikes in the ground. And my life is, you know, full of this beep. So I think it's my responsibility to keep the bike and the rider safe. No one else. A guide is there to help. Once we see a guy down, we watch and see how he reacts. In most of the cases, people pick up the bike and keep on riding, but there are some, and not few, that they desperately wait for you to pick up the bike and ride it to the end of a steep uphill or a hard part that they just can't or don't want to ride. Εδώ παλιά τι ήταν, ε. Αθανάσος, Ανδρέας και Αρώνε. Καινούριο. Αθανάσο. Και βεζινάδικα κοντά και φαγητά κοντά. Well, if we ride a hundred days per year, 
We also scout another hundred to find and connect new routes and new areas, trails and roads that will expand our riding network for the repeating customers. We put our gear and bodies into test. We walk and walk. We trim and cut. We dig and break until we are happy with the result. Our benefit? <laughs> Your smile when you ride the new place. And yeah, you guessed right. We always scout in the dead winter. day at work getting ready to scout and trim what kind of a human being would we be if we did not respect the nature around us while we work with it Frog put his foot where he was not supposed to put it. Sorry, frog. Rescue the frog or uh, the fisherman is here. <laughs> bye bye, froggy. He's alive. Ah, he's alive! He's alive! Saving a frog who stuck his head into a water tube, releasing a trapped goat, calling the fire brigade when smoke is detected in the woods, and other actions rewards us mentally and psychologically, making us feel we defend what we love with dignity. The life of the Nature. guy is okay now. Say bye bye. You are saved from uh, from Aris. Aris is a uh, guy you owe his life.
It takes a good rider to follow a leading guide, but the way we see it, it takes a smart one to follow and enjoy the ride a hundred percent. We know you are doing a good job back home and you are well recognized and approved in the rider's world as a top rider, but what happens when the ride ends? And you only saw our leading guides rear tire and tore marks on the ground. On the other hand, maybe you are here for this, so hey, enjoy anyway. After a rainy day, it's always. I mean, after a rainy day when it's sunny, it's always perfect. <laughs> well, being a guide involves a lot of walking, believe it or not. A lot of walking. A lot of walking.
tour guide, it's not only about loving the bikes, it's about, you know, this is a job, okay? When it is a job, it has responsibilities, and responsibilities most of the times are serious, you know? It's a serious stuff to be responsible for the life of people, crazy people, that booked to be on a bike next to cliffs, next to ruts, next to, I don't know, all natural dangers that occur on the mountains on my bikes, on the company's bikes. So you can guess the fuzz, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Little more? <laughs> and there you have it. A rider can't move on. He suffers, or another one falls every five minutes, he's tired. His gang wants to keep on going, and then what? We are the Enduro Guides. We are responsible for you when we guide you. You don't just follow us, we have to keep you safe. This means we have to choose the right way for you every single time we see you not being able to perform. My goodness, that was good. <laughs> that was almost good. Yeah. In most of our rides, our lead guide, Andrew, will pull a bike 50 times, maybe more. His hands will ache all night, and guess what? He'll have to repeat this next day, and the day after, and so on. His body aches, his shoulders are always numb at night, his palms are in pain, and yet this is his job. He pushed you, eh? He punched me. I know. And he's push. he's stupid. <laughs> he can kill you.
<laughs> Suddenly a major crash occurs and he has to pull the bike up, ride it back to the track and give it to you to keep on riding. The life of an enduro guide. We are here with the Landia Comaneci male version. He just had a fly to the lower uh, riverbed. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't at the moment. Ah, you want to see? Uh, yes, we where fly. He fell? Fly over here. This is was the. And he needs the best psychological support now because he has fear of uh, falling. No, no. <laughs> I like fall. You like your flying. Yeah. <laughs> so, how was your experience today? I was off the road. Thank you for flying with North Star. <laughs> 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 Here's a rock here. That's the way to do it. Hey, 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 bikes will be down. It's a fact. Nothing you can do to avoid this. The thing is to keep the riders safe and to have minimal damage on the motorcycles. What do you have to do? You have to design the perfect route according to the riders capabilities. Two people, it's okay. Okay. Two go. Okay. Why a little bonnet? Thank you. You're welcome. I need the fish today, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crocodile fish. <laughs> This is the sound of pain, the sound of heavy pain. And you know what is the most fantastic? You listen now. They... <laughs> and honestly, they paid for this. <laughs> and, and they asked them. <laughs> yeah, what can I do?
You would not be an enduro enthusiast without loving food, so we have to provide the best we can find around us when we need to eat a meal. Can you even imagine how complicated this task can be during a ride? Nope, we think you can't. You seem hungry. <laughs> I need some of food.
Έχει λίγο ακόμα, όχι. Όμερ, πώς είσαι τραχανά. 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 Τραχανά, έτσι. Νίσ, δεν πιστεύω ότι θα πρέπει να 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 και ο κύριο Λάζαρο με την τηγάνια του. Τσίκεν, you can eat. It's safe. Το θυμάμαι. Οι φωτογραφίε είναι αυτό. Καλώ ήρθατε. Έχουμε ωραία ψητά. Έχουμε κατσίκια. Έχουμε γουρνάκια, έχουμε προβατάκια, απ' όλα έχουμε. Yeah. And this is for medium. It's a little bit. The Riders Lounge is a place that we designed for riders to be able to have some extra fun after riding, uh, room and uh, dressing up place and some space that they would feel welcome in our rides. And uh, what we did is to decorate it with motorcycles. The ones we fix and customize and some projects, uh, all the gear that you may need to ride here, uh, plenty of beer, beer is mandatory, you know, beer is necessary. It's wonderful to be able to have a nice gun here and be able to enjoy the after riding atmosphere in such a space, decorated with the motorcycles and be uh, happy and vibing and uh, you know cheering about what happened during the day. And, you know, this is the only reason why we designed and uh, we set it up this place for the riders. So we are uh, able to provide some extras, you know, some some space, some room, some some energy. Uh, that's it. The smell of wood mixed with the scent of an old bike. The views and colors of engines, tanks, forks and seats. The music and the vibes, the beer and the snacks. Ladies and gents, welcome to our new Riders Lounge, the place every rider wants to spend his free time. Okay, lessons on how to treat a client. Hey, work faster, faster, go, go, go. go. faster, <laughs> hurry up, here you go, go, no, no, no. Hey, don't scratch, no, 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 you don't scratch the brake, eh? <laughs> on the air, on the air, hold it up. <laughs> now, this is a client who deflated his tire to have best traction and he has a flat tire now. And the punishment is this, we keep him under the sun changing the tire in difficult conditions. Andreas is going to throw rocks on his head without helmet.
and I'm riding um, on uh, the east part of the of Kavala city where we have uh, those bunkers <laughs> uh, those bunkers that we used in the resistance against the Germans and they're day. and they're right behind me keep cool <laughs> <laughs> From treating a wound to fixing a broken chain, from curing dehydration of a rider to find him some time to book a massage, a guide has to perform in the same level that a Swiss knife will. It has all the things you need on it and is everywhere. Plus, it's very cute and necessary to us all. <laughs> Teach them to face life like you ride extreme enduro. There's always a hidden danger. You must carry on, no matter what. Do not focus on pain. Focus on why you go into it. And if it's worth it so much, forget the pain. Move forward. Kids have no fear as adults do. Grab this opportunity and enter them into a world of heroes in helmets. If they don't like it, it's okay. They'll still get the idea.
βγει στον δρόμο, θα σταματήσει, θα βάλει το δεξιό πόδι κάτω. Το δεξί θα πατήσει να δει αν έρχεται αμάξι. Well, if I ever have a bike in my life, I'm gonna buy an asshole bike. Cause it matches with my personality, you know, I'm an asshole. This is our life. The bikes, the rides, you, our friends, and our families. We are Enduro Guides. The guys behind every laugh, every single drop of sweat, every cheering and every curse that a mountain will hear from a rider's mouth during an enduro ride. <laughs> We are Enduro Guides of North Star Enduro in Greece, and we love it. Αυτό το σημείο Αντρέα θέλει να πει ένα ευχαριστώ στην Νατάσα για τον Γιώργο. Ευχαριστούμε, Νατάσα. Για τον Γιώργο. Για την υπέροχη. What is the name, bro? Φάτσα πίτα κόπιτα. Για την υπέροχη φάτσα, φάτσα πίτα κόπιτα που μα έκανε <laughs> και μα συντροφεύει στο ταξίδι για το Σιμπιούρ. Συνέχεια σε λίγο.